All right, so Charles from Alexander, Virginia writes in. He says, hey, what's the deal with the five-year rule for Ross? When can I take the money out tax-free? And I think he already has an understanding because uh, he actually uh, you know, acknowledged that essentially in his email to me, but I think he just wanted clarification. All right, so remember, Roth, Whenever, always remember, your contributions to a Roth you can have without any taxes or penalties whatsoever. It doesn't matter if you're freaking 10 years old or 100 years old. You always have access to your contributions. That was, I remember when the Roth first came out in 1997, that was one of the benefits of it, frankly, for me, because I said if I add to a Roth and I needed an emergency fund, I could take my contributions out, i.e. my cost basis, if you will, which is actually why it's important uh, to keep a running tally. It's 8606, I think, is what that paperwork was, the IRS form, which, uh, which said how much you actually put into your Roth, because that way you'll know. I put in 15000 bucks. The accounts were 23000 bucks. I could tap in the 15000 bucks. Sands penalty or taxation the eight thousand dollars you can't if you're under the age of 59 all right you can't i don't care if you have that account open 10 or 20 years if you are under the age of 59 you cannot tap in that eight thousand dollars of earnings it's impossible without paying penalty and tax on it now where are we going here buddy if you're over the age of 59 all right so again you put in fifteen thousand dollars you're over the age of 59 it's worth $23,000 now. You have access to the 15. You don't have access to the 8 without taxes and penalties until the account has been open for five years. Now, here's the, uh, the dilemma to some degree, and this is what you got to be careful on. Some people say, and I, to be honest, I haven't really followed this that much in the last couple of years, but there used to be a lot of people, myself included, say, well, if I had the account open for five years, right? So five years ago, I opened a Roth IRA with hundred dollars, you know, and then uh, five years and one day later, I dump in fifteen thousand dollars. The next year, it's worth twenty-three thousand bucks. I should be able to tap that eight thousand dollars of earnings I made because the account has been open for five years, correct? And again, I'm assuming I'm over the age of fifty-nine and a half. Um, I think that's true. I, I just. I, <laughs> I don't know if I'd play that, though, because when you look at doing um, uh, conversions to Roth as opposed to contributions to Roth, conversions, that's not really true. Um, and what I mean by that is, here's what I thought I would do. I said, okay, when I left USAA, I have a Roth IRA open. I'm going to do conversions to my Roth from my 401k, which I rolled to an IRA. So for simplicity, I got $100,000 401k. I have $100 in a Roth IRA that I started five years ago. I'm under the age of 59 and a half, all right? So, I mean, I'm, I get, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, I'm under the age of, what was I doing here? I'm under the age of 59 and a half. Here, yeah, here's what I was going to do. As I was gonna, so, what I was going to do is say, okay, I'll convert 20000 a year for five years. So, I'm 49 years old. I convert 20000 a year. So, again... 100,000 in IRA, which I've rolled, a 401k, which I rolled to an IRA. All right, 100 bucks in a Roth, which has been open for over five years. All right, so year one, I moved 20,000 from my IRA now. Again, I rolled my 401k to an IRA to my Roth. So now I have 20,100 in that account, which has been open for over five years. Year two, I do the same. But let's just say year two, I need $40,000 of money to pay for a new roof or whatever. So my premise, my thought premise was, well, those are considered contributions or basis, if you will, to my Roth. And thus, because it's basis, I can have access to it without penalty. Now, I would have to pay tax on the gain because I'm under the age of 59 and a half, but I would not have a penalty. That was my whole premise. So that, and I've been thinking like this since 1997 when the Roth IRAs were first introduced or first passed into law by Clinton, of all people? And the answer is, as long as you're not audited, that's true. <laughs> I mean, everything is true from a tax perspective until you're audited. That's why I always tell people, like, look, if you're never audited, you can do whatever the hell you want. I mean, don't. Because if they audit you and you find out you've been uh, manipulating the system, you know, that's not a good place to be. But, I mean, as long as you're never audited, that is true what I did. However, further research says no. Your conversions, the amount of money you convert, is its own unique five-year rule. 
So if I convert 20,000 in the year 2018, that basis, that 20,000 I converted, is not free and clear to me until 2023. All right, does that make sense? So now I, I cannot take that $40,000 out for my new roof without paying a penalty. Now, I've already paid tax on that because I did the conversion. And when you pay, when you do the conversion, you're gonna pay tax. But because I'm under the age of 59 and a half, I do not get my principal uh, without a penalty. It is a 10% penalty. Similar to if I took 40,000 out from a, an IRA before the age of 59 and a half. Confusing as all can be, I get that. Now, if you're over 59 and a half, and you do the same circumstance, all right? So now you're saying, oh man, I converted $40,000 over the last two years to my Roth. Now it's worth 50,000 bucks. So I got a $10,000 gain. I've had the Roth itself open for over five years and I'm over 59 and a half. I should be able to get my 50,000 out tax and penalty free, right? Because the Roth has been open for over five years and I'm over the age of 59 and a half. And the answer is no, you can't. You can, get your, uh, you can get your principal out tax and penalty free because you're over 59 and a half, but you can't get your gains out because it hasn't been five years of each of those individually unique conversions. I hope that makes sense. So those unique conversions, 20,000 year 2018, 20,000 year 2019, the one for 20,000 year 2018, because you're over 59 and a half, you can get your 20,000 out tax and penalty free, but you cannot get your gains out uh, uh, penalty, uh, tax free, excuse me. You don't have to pay penalty. There's no penalty once you're over the age of 59 and a half, but you cannot get your gains out tax free. You have to wait for that unique uh, $20,000 uh, conversion to grow, uh, to be open for five years. Confusing, but I hope that makes sense. Just remember, once you're over the age of 59, there's no more penalty you're, concerned, you're worried about. The penalties are gone. The penalty stage are gone. Only thing you're worried about over the age of 59 at this stage is taxes on your gains. So if you think about it, under the age of 59, you got to look at a penalty and you got to look at taxes on your gains. Over the age of 59, you don't have to look at a penalty anymore. You just got to look at taxes on your gains. Under the age of 59, you don't have access to your conversion amounts until that specific conversion has been five years past since you did it. All right, now if you take it out before the five years, the conversion amount, you don't pay tax on that conversion amount because you've already paid tax on it, but you got to pay a penalty. So anyway, just remember, it's two completely different things, under 59, over 59. The first thing you do when you talk about this is separate yourself Am I under 59 or am I over 59? If I'm under 59, I know I have a consideration of taxes and penalty. If I'm over 59, I don't have any consideration of penalty, but I do have a consideration of taxes. And that's the first thing you do. So it's like filling out a puzzle and then you just logically kind of backtrack. Okay, if I did this, I did that. Now at the end of the day, I'm telling you, man. So my, <laughs> for me to do conversions for the $40,000 now that I need for my new... Uh, Thing. I thought that I would be able to get away with it because I had the account open for five years. And the answer is absolutely explicitly, that's simply not true. The, the, the IRS will say you need to wait five years for each of those conversions before you have access to the principal uh, penalty free. And then of course, I got to be 59 and a half before I have access to the gains tax free. Hope this helps. Thanks, Charles.